My name is Virginia Sill. I am part of the 20-somethings group here at Culpeper Baptist Church. I moved here about three years ago after I graduated from school because um, my family's kind of from this area um, and have just been attending the church and the 20-somethings group since then. Hi, I'm Alex Westoff. I moved out here about a year ago for a job opportunity, no one, no one, and I met some amazing people in this group. And we will be reading from Sam, 2 Sam 6, uh, 12 through 19. Now it was reported to King David, the Lord had blessed the house of Obadidim and all that belongs to him because of the ark of God. So David went and had the ark of God brought up from the house of Obadidim into the city of David with rejoicing. When those carrying the ark of the Lord had advanced six paces, he sacrificed an ox and a fattened calf. And David, wearing a linen ephod, danced with all his might before the Lord, while he and the, all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and the sounding of the ram's horn. As the Lord, as the ark of the Lord was entering the city of David, Saul's daughter Michelle looked down from the window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, and he despised him in her heart. So they brought the ark of the Lord and set in its place inside the tent of David had pitched for it. Then David offered a burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Lord. When David had finished sacrificing the burnt offerings and peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of hosts. Then he distributed to every man and woman among multiple multitude of Israel a loaf of bread, a date cake, and a raisin cake. And all the people departed each his own home. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I uh, thank you for this Advent season. I pray that you would just be with us all um, and help us to meditate on your word in each day as we lead up to um, Christmas and uh, just thinking about um, Jesus coming and you giving us the gift of your son. Uh, thank you, Lord, for this church and this community where we've all been able to meet together and grow together. I pray that we continue to grow in our faith and um, friendship and strengthen those bonds. Thank you, Lord, and I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.